what is up ad team austin dunham back again with another video and welcome to yet another summer strength vlog as you saw right there my little morning routine that i do every single morning and along with that you saw my new weight which i haven't shown in a quite a long time like over a month now and um you might have noticed that i have been gaining weight I'm no longer cutting, so I'm not like 158 pounds, 162 pounds anymore. I'm kind of, I'm not bulking, I'm not cutting, I'm kind of gang tanning, I like to say, all right? So I'm eating around 3,000 calories a day at the current time, and eating this allows me to slowly gain weight, but not put on too much fat, and I think I'm gonna do that for the rest of the summer. As you saw, I'm still pretty much lean, and I still feel great in my body. I'm still able to do all my static skills, body weight training, and all that stuff, so it's working out perfectly. Check out today's fit. I got the dirty white Adidas uh, Ultra Boost on. And I got this shirt that I love. I got it from Express. The reason why I like this shirt is because it, it fits my V taper body. And a lot of other shirts, they really don't fit like the kind of wide shoulders and skinny waist. It's really, really square. So if you're anything like me and you're doing your pull-ups, check out Express and their shirts. And as the added piece, you already know, I got the Forge London Silver Spike Pendant Necklace on. If you guys don't know, this is a company that I'm a part of with Stan Brownie that we started uh, about three weeks, three to four weeks ago. And we launched our V1 models, which is the Silver Spike Pendant and also the Gold one, which I have, of course. And the drop has done really, really well on behalf of Forge London. Everybody, the whole team, we want to thank you guys so much for your support. Um, but if you haven't gotten one yet, by the way, we have less than 50 at the time of this recording. We actually might be sold out at the time of this recording. So uh, check the link down below in the description uh, where you can pick up your drop one uh, spike pendants, necklaces, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, we have a very, very few left. And after drop one, it's pretty much going to be gone. We're going to focus on drop two and just create the best pieces of uh, pendants and jewelry out there that you guys can afford and look stylish in. Obviously, is adding some character to my outfit right now as you see. So definitely be sure to support it. Um, once again, thank you guys so, so much. Just got Storm a little cleaned, even though she's not fully cleaned. Uh, that's because here in Florida, we have something called love bug season. Now, if you guys don't know what love bugs is, maybe you're not from the southeast of the United States, but there's these little bugs, right? And they come out like near the summer when you're driving, they just completely destroy your car. And if you don't get it washed off fast, then they can really damage the paint on your car and just uh, just damage vehicles. Look at some of these pictures right here, which are absolutely terrible. So in order to get Storm fully cleaned, I'm probably gonna have to hand wash it myself, which is no issue. Maybe I'll do one week and now the summer and do that. All right guys, it's that time of day right now. We are at the gym. It's time to make some freaking gains and get swole, all right? Now in this video, I wanna teach you like basically how I create a workout for the day or how you can create your workout for the day, all right? Because um, if you don't know, I have a ton of experience when it comes to creating workout programs, customized workout programs for people. Like literally off the top of my head, I can create you a workout uh, for your goals, uh, what you want to do, what you want to work on, stuff like that, all right? I, I used to do it for a long time, <laughs> back when I first started off YouTube, back when I did custom programs. So basically, now I'm going to take you through my mindset of how I create it. I got my phone right here. We're going to use my notepad, and I'm just going to write it along with you. So when it comes to creating your workout, you got to keep a few things in mind, all right? Your goal of the training, like what you want to accomplish. Two, the stimulus you want to use to accomplish that. And three, the body part that you want to work out, obviously. And also, there's other little variables such as exercise selection, rep skiing, and also rest periods. Now, first, let's talk about my goal of training for today, and that is to build muscle. 
today's not a strength day today's a hypertrophy day where i'm just focusing on volume building muscle and uh getting aesthetic all right so that's my goal for today usually i do have you know hypertrophy days and also strength days so today's a hypertrophy day build muscle the stimulus we're going to use um this depends on each person it could be weighted calisthenics body weight training weight lifting dumbbells barbells whatever machines uh for me today my stimulus is going to be weighted calisthenics that shouldn't be surprising at all really honestly uh the body part that i'm working today is going to be upper so it's going to be a full upper routine based type of workout which means we're working through all planes of movement all right horizontal vertical pushing and a horizontal vertical pulling and we got to keep that in mind when it comes to exercise selection which we'll talk about here soon all right so now that we have all those variables to go to training stimulus and body part that we're training now it's time to actually create the workout and off the top of my head, since I know today's an upper body hypertrophy day, that I'm gonna to wanna to implement supersets through those vertical planes, through those planes of movements that I just spoke about, which is vertical and horizontal. So let's create it and choose the exercises, which also depends on your goals. So first, um, I wanna work through a horizontal plane of movement, primarily targeting my upper chest instead of my lower chest. So I'm gonna do decline weighted push-ups, four sets, of six to eight reps. And we're gonna superset that with a vertical plane of movement and we're gonna do chest to bar pull-ups for the same amount of reps. Let's go for like four sets of six to eight or maybe even six to 10. All right, bam, right there, we already have our upper chest, our shoulders and our triceps and also our back withness targeted. Now we gotta move on to our other planes of movement. So next I'm gonna do elevated pike push-ups. This is a body weight exercise and we're not doing like wall handstand push-ups or anything like that because I want more volume. So I'm gonna pick an easier exercise for me. That's gonna be elevated pike push-ups. We're gonna aim for four sets of, let's say 10 to 15 reps. And then once again, we're gonna superset this with a horizontal plane of movement and we're gonna do TRX rows for the same amount, all right? Four sets, 10 to 15. Now, if you notice, all my compound movements here are about four sets in the moderate rep range, which is perfect for what I want to work on today. And um, I didn't mention this, but we're also going to keep the rest periods, the rest times, anywhere between a minute 30 to two minutes max. You know what would be cool? If there was like an app or something that kind of did this for you, that kind of put like my knowledge into this sort of app. I don't know. It might be coming within the next six months. <laughs> Now to conclude this workout, we're gonna do muscle ups with a toe to bar combo. And muscle ups is honestly uh, just for fun. It's kind of a, a double movement, um, getting that vertical pull and also the dip in there too. So I might actually do a bit more front dips when I'm at the top of the muscle up, we'll see. But then I'm gonna kind of drop set or superset that with uh, toes to bar or leg raises, which will train my um, abs. Then from there, that is the workout. So as you see, this workout is very, very compound based. Hopefully it goes by quick. I'm not doing much isolation today because I did that yesterday. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Austin, what about static training? Yes, I usually do do static training before the actual workout. Uh, but today I am filming for my new program releasing next month called Calistatics and this program teaches you how to do cal um, static training and all the tutorials and stuff and programs involved within there. So today at the beginning of the workout I actually have to film the exercise tutorials for it. So that will count as my static training today alright. It's going to be a uh, pull base so front lever back levers stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little glimpse of it, just a little bit, but not too much because like I said, the full program is coming out next month and you don't wanna miss it, all right? Lucky I never got trapped in the cubicle If 
I did it, then you can do it too. Just follow my moves. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking is fluent. All of my business booming. Stacking my cash in abundance. All of my family funded. Finally got what I wanted. Life is amazing, I love it. Everyone know that I run it. Yeah, my family home for the holidays. I'm in the studio cooking up music because I know I never got time to waste. This is a decision I gotta make. Made it here, I can't stop now. Had to make what I got now. This the life I chose. Seen the highs and lows. I've been getting what I want now. Middle finger to the middle man. Fuck what you posting on Instagram. Never been part of the fake shit. Everyone rapping, I swear that I hate it. Yeah, all of them wanna be famous. Give them a week and they fading. You buying a chain, I'm buying a crib because we not the same. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking is fluent. So needless to say, that was a pretty successful workout session. We filmed for uh, calisthenics, which it turned out really, really well. It turned out really, really good. And we did the upper body workout, as you guys saw, that I created with you guys. And needless to say, again, I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, I can't even breathe right now. It's so hot. The humidity, the heat, everything. If you realize, I was outside the whole entire time. Didn't even step foot in the gym. It's time to get something to eat, something to drink, because I'm literally about to die. Like, my hands are shaking very, very slightly uh, just because of the glycogen depletion and just how tired I am. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, just stop by Smoothie King. As you see right here, I'm still in the parking lot. And uh, something interesting just happened. So, I went back in there and I basically told him to make me another one, please, uh, because for some reason, the one that I always get was this chocolate, peanut butter, and banana gladiator. Uh, it tasted funny, like it tasted like no banana, very like chocolatey. And on top of that, like he put, he made so much that he only gave me half of what was in the blender and he threw the other half away. And that means if you mix it with protein powder, which the gladiator has protein powder in it, I'm only getting half the serving of the protein within the thing. So I was like, yo, can you please just make me another one and use all of it um, for this? And he was nice enough uh, to do it and make me another one. And now it tastes a whole lot better. It tastes what I'm used to. So this smoothie has 480 calories with 40 grams of protein, 18 grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs. That's why I get this because it has a lot of calories, it has quite a decent amount of protein, and um, it tastes really good. It tastes like a milkshake to me. It literally tastes like I'm drinking an ice cream milkshake, um, but it has protein in it and it's good. So that is my post-workout. Gonna cook later, but for now, gonna enjoy this. What up guys, follow uh, my stream at, uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you even trade today? Huh? Did you work out today? I did actually, yeah. Then when I how, I how have I been at the gym more than you for two days in a row? Cause you've been recording hella long, bro. You've been in the gym for like three hours. Mm -hmm. And this is a deload week for me. Oh, so I just you. go in there. I left when I left earlier. I got some cooking spray and I just went to the gym. Oh, I gotcha. But I got your cooking spray, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. You gonna be up here till five a.m. again? Uh, not nah, probably like four thirty. Four thirty, gotcha. Yeah. So guys, that was uh, George. Um, if you don't know, he's a power lifter, good friend of mine who I'm staying at his place right now because I actually got a spot here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, dope spot, right? Two bedroom, two bath. I can't wait to show you guys my new place here. Completely to myself, no roommates. But the issue is I can't move in until August 15th. Let's work out so. little pump going on right now. Forge London necklace making me look like the Black Panther low key. Like right before, like I all I do is touch this and it's pew, Black Panther. I, w I would pull up on you guys. I actually had the cosplay costume in my trunks, but I'm not gonna go all crazy with it. Just know that you can get your hands on one of these, the silver or the gold one, right now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, less than 100 left, less than 50 left, more than likely. I don't know by the time this video is posted. You're just gonna have to check out and see for yourself. So guys, after today, you've seen that I got a lot of projects going on, a lot of stuff that I'm working on, a lot of uh, businesses that I'm a part of, and my summer is pretty busy. But you know, as usual, I'm excited, and every single day 
I'm up grinding, chasing my dreams, chasing my goals, and as should you. And as you see, I still have time to work out, train every single day almost, except for Sundays. So um, that's a daily non-negotiable for me. And I feel like if you really want it, and if you make it a lifestyle, it should be for you also, all right? So yeah, and also hopefully you know how to kind of create a workout plan for yourself if you didn't know how to do that already. All right, it's time to grind some more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the foreign, I'm cruising.